Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to go through how to track clicks to an email for Google Analytics 4. So what do we want to do? We want to be able to track as an event how many people come to your website and click on a link that opens up an email client. For example, we want to track how many people come to this page and click on this link here that says info at kiru.net. We're going to use this as an example. How can we do that? First of all, prerequisites. In order to achieve that, you need two different tools. Obviously, you need to have a Google Analytics 4 account. The second prerequisite is you need to have a Google Tag Manager account and a container. A Google Tag Manager is a tool that helps you track events on Google Analytics 4. So if you haven't set it up already, job number one will be to go to tagmanager.google.com, create a Google Tag Manager account, create your container. And from there, when you go to admin, you are going to find under install Google Tag Manager, the instructions to install Google Tag Manager to all the different pages of your website. So this is a prerequisite. We need Google Tag Manager to be able to track events for Google Analytics 4. Let's assume now that this step is done. We have a Google Tag Manager and it is already installed in the back of all the pages of our website. What we need to do is we need to access it and we need to create a new tag. So we are going to come here and we're going to click on tag or we're going to go to tags and say, we want to create a new tag. And once we do that, we're going to give our tag a name. We're going to name this tag clicks to email. And there are two steps that we need to take now, the tag configuration and the triggering. We're going to click on the first box that says tag configuration. And we are going to select the third option that says Google Analytics GA4 event. This is always what we need to select in order to track events in Google Analytics 4. So we are going to click here on Google Analytics GA4 event. And the next step that we need to take is we need to say to the system, which Google Analytics 4 data stream we want to create this event for. So we need to deal with this configuration tab here. If this is the first time you are going through this process, you are going to click on the drop down menu and you are going to say manually set ID. And we need to provide to the system the measurement ID of our Google Analytics 4 data stream. How can we find this? It is very, very easy. You are going to navigate to your Google Analytics 4. And when you do that, you are going to go all the way down on the left and click the gear icon that says admin. So you're going to go to your admin panel. Once you go to your admin panel, then you are going to go to the middle column and you're going to click on data streams. So we visited admin from the bottom left. Then we're going to come here and click on data streams. Then we're going to click on our data stream. I'm using now the demo account, but it's going to be similar for your website too. So we're going to click on our data stream and we're going to copy the measurement ID. So we are going to find the measurement ID here. The measurement ID is the unique identification of your data stream, your Google Analytics for data stream. We are going to click copy and we are going to go back to our Google Tag Manager and paste this measurement ID in this box. The next thing we're going to do now is we're going to give our event a name. Whatever name you give here, this is exactly what you're going to see inside Google Analytics 4. So what we mean by that is once the event setup is done and is over, every time that you're going to go to any report, I'm going to use traffic acquisition as an example, and you go under the event count and you click the drop down menu, the name that you're going to put in this box is going to be the name that you're going to see in this list. So in our case, we're going to name this event clicks to email. This is going to be the name of the event. When you name events, always make sure you don't leave spaces. Always use underscore. Don't leave spaces because in the future, if you want to do 
more advanced things, it will be really helpful if you follow this rule. That's 50% of the job. The next thing that we need to do now is we need to deal with the triggering. The triggering means when this event is happening, right? So we want to track an event that is happening every time the user comes on our website and clicks on a link that opens an email client, clicks on this link basically here. So we're going to click here on triggering. We're going to go on the top right and create a new trigger. And we're going to give this trigger a name. So we're going to name this trigger clicks to email. And then we're going to click on trigger configuration. When we click on trigger configuration, we need to select the trigger type that is relevant to this action. And I'm going to go straight to the point when you want to track clicks to email, meaning people click on this link and the system opens up an email client, Outlook, or something similar, then what you need to choose from this list is going to be just links. So you need to come here and select just links, right? So that's what we need to do. And once we select just links, the next step is to click on some link clicks because we don't want to track every single link click that is happening on our website. We want to track only the ones that are relevant to this specific action. And how can we define this specific action? What is the condition? Every time that someone goes to this website and clicks on this link, what happens is that if you hover your mouse basically, here on this uh, basically uh, email, you will see on the bottom left-hand side in my screen, it says mail to info at kiru.net, where I have the arrow on the left-hand side. So this is the click URL. The click URL means this is the link that is going to open the email client. Every time that somebody clicks on this uh, email here, this hyperlink, the system, the browser is going to open this address that is called mail to info at kiru.net. So what we need to do now and why this is important is because we're going to say to the system, we want to track the action that is relevant to a click URL that contains or equals, it's up to you, this specific address. So an easy way to actually copy this address is to right click on the link that you want to uh, basically track, copy the email address and paste it here. Or if you want, you can copy the entire URL. So mail to semicolon info at kiru.net. If we say contains, we don't need to actually put mail to. If we say equals, we need to be very specific and accurate in terms of how we track that, right? So we can say equals mail to semicolon info dot net, right? So which is exactly the URL that opens up. That's it. The next thing that we need to do now is we need to save our tag and our trigger. So what did we do? We created a new tag. We named it clicks to email. What we did is we provided the measurement ID of our Google Analytics for data stream. We named the event clicks to email. And we said that this event is firing, is happening every time someone goes to our website and clicks to a link that equals this specific string of text. Now, what we need to do is we need to save, we need to submit and publish our container, right? So let me actually
So what is very important is to submit and publish your container for these changes to be live. Now I don't have admin rights to this account. Therefore, I'm going to show you how it's done in a different account. So what you will need to do next is to go and click submit and then publish your container. And we need to do that in order for the changes to go live. Now, that's it. That's it. This is the setup. How do we know now that this event is working? What we're going to do is we're going to verify that we did a good job. And in order to do that, we're going to go to our tag manager. And all the way up on the top right, there is this button that says preview. So we're going to click on preview. We're going to preview the page where this event lives. So we're going to copy the URL where the button that we just tracked, basically, the click to an email lives. We're going to paste it here into the tag assistant, and we're going to click connect. Once we do that, the system will open two tabs in your browser. You're going to have your tag assistant connected to this page of your website. You know that because it's going to be this floating box on the bottom right. Next, what we need to do is we need to take the action that we just worked on. So we need to click here on info at kiru.net. So we're going to click here once. We're going to go back to our tag assistant. And once we go to our tag assistant, you can see that on the left-hand side, there is a new instance of a link click, which is basically the click that we just uh, pressed on, which is basically the click that we just, um, which is basically the click that we just clicked on, the click to email. And if we select link click, we can already see that under the tags fired, there is this tag that is called clicks to email. Why this tag is firing? Because the user clicked on an element that contains a click URL that equals to this string of text. And that's it. Now we know that we did a good job. Two things to keep in mind. Number one, give your event 24 hours to show up on Google Analytics 4. It may take some time to show up on Google Analytics 4. It will not show up momentarily in your reports. But it will definitely show up, especially if you verify that you did a good job and the tag is firing. That's pretty much it. Everything is correct. Number two, if you have the same link in other pages, so let's say the home page or some other pages, do you need to repeat the process or what we did now is enough? What we did now is enough. So regardless of which page the user is on, whenever someone comes on this website and clicks on the specific uh, element that has a click URL that contains the string of text that we defined, mail to info at kiru.net in our example, then the system will register an event in Google Analytics 4. And that's how you can find out how many people come on your website and click on a link to email you. Last thing, this is the click to email. From there, the user will have to write an email to you and send it. You can track the click to email. You cannot track whether the user went all the way through and indeed send you an email because this is a different environment. What we can track is how many people come on our website, click on this link, and start the process of conducting the business. That's it. If you like the video, if you found value on this video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. It will really help us to create more valuable content and see you on the next video. Have a great day.